Ever since his boyhood days, Rochelle Jinnah has pursued double dreams of being a top-level lawyer and a world-class model. It's taken a lot of hard work and some nifty juggling to bring these dreams closer to fruition, especially when he opted to enter the Mr. India South Africa pageant for 2018. Somehow, he managed to pull it all off, and Karusha went to find out how. When Rashil Jinnah entered the Mr. South Africa India 2018 pageant, he was just 21, which made him the youngest entrant. Whatever he may have lacked in terms of experience, he made up for in commitment and determination. And those qualities have continued to power his career. Today, I'm catching up with Rushil, who is Mr. India South Africa and Mr. Super National South Africa, and has dreams of becoming an international runway model. To boot, he is an LLB student. He's got me at the gym very early this morning, and I'm going to catch up with him to see how he goes about his day. Good morning, Rochelle. Good morning, Coach. How are you doing? I'm good, thanks. I can see I'm catching you at the end of your workout. Just did some cardio, some arms. Had to get you out of the way. I have a very tight schedule today. So I actually have a photo shoot to attend. Maybe you could join me. We can chat a bit there. Great, let's do it. Although Rochelle didn't take the national Mr. India South Africa title in 2018, he was named first runner-up as well as Mr. Congeniality. He also won first prize for his multimedia presentation on the ancient city of Dwarka in Gujarat and has the versatility to rock a magnificent desi look or something casual, contemporary and international. I love the lights in there. And you're great, you're a great model. I love working with you. Looking great, guys. Thank you so much, Thank guys. So I'll much. see you later. I just got to set up for the next shot. Go, okay, cool. Rochelle, it's going really well. Thank you so much. I just finished my sportswear look now, and I think I have two more left. Have you always been into modeling? I actually haven't. Um, growing up, I was a very awkward looking child, so I never thought I'd have a breakthrough in the industry. And as I grew up, I guess, things changed, and I'm slowly getting there. And at what point did you decide to enter Mr. India SA? When I was growing up, I was made fun of for, like, crooked teeth and pimples. Obviously, I built a complex about that, and I started looking after myself. I started looking after my skin, trying to change these insecurities that I had. And I decided to enter the Mr. India South Africa, and I placed first runner-up. And from there, I went on to the Mr. Supra National South Africa, and now I'm representing an entire country. And what do you hope to gain from entering these pageants? Okay, so I'm going to use the Mr. Supra National title as a platform. I have my own foundation. It's called the Caring Hearts Helping Hands Foundation, and that is basically to feed homeless and orphaned children. I also engage in a lot of cleanups in our environment. I'm a part of Greenpeace as well. So I'm trying to get our society to a better place. So what looks are you changing into next? My next look is a formal look. It's by a designer called Johan Braun, a mixture of metallics and diamonds combined into a suit. Great. From red carpet events to bush breaks, Rashil is comfortable in any situation and his easygoing personality puts everyone at ease. Xavier. Hi, Karusha. How is it working with Rushil today? Fantastic. He's an amazing model. He looks amazing. He's in great shape. So he's very easy to shoot and work with. As a photographer, what do you look for on a location shoot? Everything is about light. We look at light differently and we make light beautiful and exciting. Rushil is the current Mr. Supranational Africa title holder and wore his sash while modeling a spectacular high fashion outfit by a leading local designer. It's a very beautiful suit. Thank you, Karisha. It's actually part of my laser cut metallic range that I designed for Summer 19 SO Fashion Week. And what's it like working with Rochelle? It's awesome. The, the moment he put my suits on, his shoulders push back, the smile comes out, the eyes pop. So I think it's a win-win combination. So it's a match made in heaven. Absolutely. <laughs> love the expression. Carry on, that's great. Awesome. I love that, don't move because the light is hitting your face perfectly. Trisha, take it out. Beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. I'm sure it's been a long day for you. It's been a great one. I just love what I do. Talk to me about the other sphere of your life. I know that you're a student. Yes, I'm a third year law student. It's been amazing. Law has been my passion. How do you manage to juggle both? It's just about working smart rather than hard. 
So I plan my day. How do you plan to synergize your law career and your modeling career? Growing up, I've always wanted to make change and be that impactful force in our society. And I feel like with pageantry and with law, it offers me that platform to make a difference and to make change. Having had what you call an awkward teenage phase, what advice would you give to your 16-year-old self? Have fun. Don't take everything so seriously. People are mean, <laughs> people say things, but most of the time it's from a playful perspective. And what about your childhood? Where did you grow up? I'm originally from Linasia South, extension four to be specific. And your family? I'm actually one of four siblings. I have two brothers and one sister. Um, we were raised by my mom. And I'm actually gonna be meeting with her now. Uh, would you like to join us? Great, I'd love to meet her. Let's do that. Family has always played a central role in Rishil's life and their love and support has given him a firm foundation for his ventures. All right, lovely. Thank you so much. Enjoy it. Thank you. Thank you. Rishil, where do you see yourself in five years? Well, I see myself as a top-notch lawyer an international model and I'd like for my campaigns to be doing well. And what advice do you have for people that want to pursue a double career like yourself? Firstly, they need to know it's going to be a lot of work, but I believe that if it's your goal and that's what you want to do, you can do anything you put your mind to. Oh, there's your mom now. <sighs> mom, Kirusha, Kirusha, Zelda. Very nice to meet you. I've had a lovely day with your son. Thank you so much for spending time with Thank me today. Thank you so much for having me. I'm not going to intrude on mom and son time. Enjoy your lunch. Thank you, Thank you so much. Bye. Thank you. <laughs> Rushil has since gone on to represent the continent of Africa at the International Mr. Supranational Pageant, where he competed against 49 regional contestants. He earned a place among the top 10 finalists, as well as being declared the fan favorite, and he's still in his early 20s. Rushil has set himself some lofty goals, but is well on his way to achieving them.